All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Reader. So I'm going to be taking a look at hopefully five if this doesn't run too long, but we're going to look at CGC, SNDL, High Tide, Cron, and VFF on this one. I have not looked at Cron, I think at all, and then VFF in a good while. So those will be pretty fresh, all right? So um, if you watch my Tilray video, these next two comments are going to be echoed from that you know, I, I would get more views and more subscribers if I said nothing but good, 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 green, green, rah, rah, right? But it's really, really important to remember there are two sides of the coin and you got to be ready for the bad if it happens, all right? And to me, there are two growing worries right now. Number one is this long weekend that we're sitting in right now. I realize Canada is open. Um, call me an ignorant American, but I, I very, very much value the American markets above the Canadian markets. I actually put the Asian markets at number two, and then I don't even have a number three. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. I'd love to hear what the day looked like up in Canada, but I think the long U.S. weekend is worth the worry. All right. From there, buy the rumor, sell the news is a fundamental thing. It's a fundamental trading quote for a reason. You know what I mean? And sell the news happens way more often than you would believe. I have lost a good amount of money myself on sell the news things that I expected to bring green. You know what I mean? And and come Monday, that's, that's the news. Monday is the first day of legalization. And I'm really 50-50 on what's going to happen, you know? So... There were some interesting disagreements on the last video. I love disagreements. You know that, right? Um, so hopefully I'm wrong. But yeah, I think it's worth the worry consideration at least, all right? But we will obviously go over all the technicals as usual. And I'm really excited for this one. It's been an amazing uptrend so far, all right? But before we go any further and I give you more of my thoughts and opinions, what are we going to do? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term. Will we have our or five moving averages there are horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself and then when we are done up here we'll use the MACD RSI and volume as our lower indicators hey really quickly if you can please subscribe to this channel share this video online with your friends comment good or bad if you disagree look anything you do helps so so much with these youtube algorithms but for real just being here giving me your time oh i am so so grateful for it all right so cgc look i'm not going to repeat these too much because i don't want to say it five times over the video but Long weekends, all right? That's something I started the video with. Long we and this is not CGC specific. This is not weed stock. This is every single stock from blue chips down, all right? Especially if you're a swing trader or a day flipper, you know? Long weekends are scary because you literally are frozen. You can do nothing with your money until Monday pre-market at the very earliest, all right? If something bad was to happen today, if someone on the executive team just got caught in a scandal, if the company all of a sudden failed some tech, like the FCC is still working to, maybe they're not, I have no idea, right? But you get the point. Like there could be some bad news, bad headlines that come out today. And even if you were the first person in the world to know it and to find it because you're amazing at digging info and you're a, you're a fundamental and a news like genius, you can't do anything. And all of a sudden, dumb traders like me are going to find the news and uh, come Monday, everyone's ready. And that's a horrible place to be. So long weekends generally bring sell-offs. And I'll talk about it shortly. I know 9% is an ugly number. That's a good candle. That's a significantly better candle than we're going to see on a couple like the SNDL candle. That was a scarier Friday for sure. Um, I think Cron was another one. That was a scarier candle on Friday. But CGC on its own, that's actually not that bad a candle. And again, I'll get to that shortly. All right. The second comment was sell the news fears. Okay. Listen, a lot of people disagreed with me on, on yesterday's video. Please don't hesitate to disagree with me. Let me know why too, right? Like I think it could cause like good conversations and a lot of people read it and a lot of people jump in, right? So my 
I have been loving this amazing rumor that we've been brewing, all right? It literally started on this Friday that lit, that just propelled the uptrend, right? But this Friday the 15th, Kamala Harris, boom, first good weed headlines, all right? All of a sudden, come the next week, boom, German actual legalization vote happens, right? And then, you know, hey, I'm even willing to say boom on that Thursday bad headline. Even the senators that said, I don't want them to reschedulize the, the weed stuff, whatever. It's all headlines. It's all feeding into the same thing. Just stir that rumor for me. Just stir it, stir it, stir it, all right? Monday is our first glimpse at at news, at, at no longer a rumor. It's now news. Like, okay, German legalization has a whole mess of rumors connected to it, all right? It, it very, very much has this, if you have this EU import license, which a couple of these stocks that I'm covering do, that's going to be an advantage. It has this rumor that the number three economy in the world is going to bring some real big financial gains for individual companies and for, for just the nation as a whole. And you know what? It might be so good that other nations are going to want to copy it. And hey, it might be so good that maybe even number two and or number one, one of them being the U.S., is going to say, hey, you know what? If it worked there, there are so many rumors that are connected to this German legalization. All right. Monday is day one of reality. Monday is day one of no longer a rumor. It's now news. All right. And my comment over the last few videos really was I care way less about day one and I care way more about day 90. Truth be told, I care a lot about day 180. All right. But what I really care about is 30 60 and 90 days, especially that 90 days, because that's a full quarter, right? I want to see what the actuals were versus the expectations. And I imagine there are some smart economic people out there that are putting some revenue numbers to this, right? Have I looked them up? I'll be honest, I haven't. Uh, I think it's worth your time if you're into doing that kind of stuff, right? But what are they expecting the Germany numbers to look like? Are, are, are we expecting, you know, 50 million in the first three months? Are we expecting 5 million? Whatever that number is, we better get six or 60 or 51, right? Like I want to get more, okay? From there, look, day one itself is just, I don't know. I, I, I might be wrong. A lot of people do believe day one is actually going to add fuel to the fire. It's going to put more gas in the tank and we're going to keep going, 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 right? Like, believe me, I hope that's the case, but it's worth the worry, all right? So now let's get into the technicals. And I said it moments ago, look, no one, no one wants to lose nine, nearly 10%. That's, that's not a good thing, right? But you always hear me talk about candle to candle. How did you do against yesterday, right? And we pretty much landed right at half, right? I never want to lose more than half of, the, of a good day, especially half of a yesterday, right? And Friday did okay comparatively to Thursday, right? So trust me, not a good percent, obviously a pretty big volume of sell, but candle itself isn't worrying me. What's starting to worry me, I think, is this RSI a little bit because we now have a bad divergence and we actually have no more of a unison with the MACD, okay? I like it when the MACD and RSI are saying the same thing. I like it when they're both green over red. I obviously don't like it, but when they're both red over green, I at least know, hey, let's, let's worry a little bit, right? When they're not saying the same thing, I don't necessarily know what to do. And and I think I'm going to lean a little bit here, especially because, again, like I just flashed, I didn't like this candle on, on Cron. I'll talk about that one shortly. VFF, how did that one look? Yeah, not especially good. We pretty much ate the whole thing, right? So... Um, Tilray had a decent candle, it had a doji, so in a lot of ways this one I can barely give you some good educated thoughts on, right? But yeah, CGC held up not too bad, it's just like I said, the other ones are maybe making me worry a little bit. And yeah, I think if I had to like lean on 
you know, I'm telling you, I'm 50 50 on that buy the sell the news or, or add to the gas and go, right? I think my gut's kind of telling me a little bit sell the news. By no means am I saying crash or anything like that, all right? This, if this thing was going to drop, all right? we can drop all the way down to basically 560. If we fell, and look, no one wants to go from $8 plus to 560, all right? That's actually almost a 50% loss. You're almost throwing away $4 on an $8 stock, right? You're throwing away three. Hopefully, we never go any lower than 655. And really, I, I would hope that this 766 might be a little bit of a support, okay? But one more time, we can fall all the way down to 555, 560, and still be, as long as we're over the 200, I'm okay. Because again, sometimes you go up, you kind of come back, you reset and go. And again, look, the indicator got real hot, let it kind of come back to the 50s and then let's rerun, right? That's that's kind of what I expect. I did this on Tilray and I'll kind of do the same thing. Like, let's just start right here. You know, arguably it could go a little bit lower. It seems like it's more right here. Look, this stock is used to an RSI in the 40s, right? It was actually a little bit lower back here. I'll say this good moment, this good moment, and this good moment, and a little bit right here. I think 40s is is where this thing is comfortable. I think this goes from 75 to 50. I think it comes back down to just a little higher, maybe 64 even. That's basically where I just click right. And then we rerun from there. That, that's what I see, all right? But um, let me delete this, and let me just zoom out real quick. Look this 200 moving average has been a very difficult line all right we've only hit it twice and this is actually only the first time we've gotten over it pretty nicely all right so coming back down establishing support and then going is a very 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 common move and and that's something i can see okay so again on the way down 760 six 50 and then very very last one is 560 all right those are our one two three down i'm not going to draw any lines i'll be real honest with you i don't think they're worth it all right otherwise look if we break 940 let's just round it up a penny right if we break 940 my expectations really are 13 i didn't draw an extra or maybe i did i don't remember but um all I see here is a little baby, almost insignificant little support right here. I don't think that a resistance right here. I'm just seeing red, 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 green, 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 red, red, red. That should be a quick green. For me, I would look for um, a hunt of that 940-ish. Here, I'll even set an alert. Why not? Let's set an alert together. Let's do 942. I'll take a couple pennies above it. Otherwise, if this thing falls, the important thing to remember is that there are healthy red candles in an uptrend, all right? And even if we have a couple red that do bring us down, I'm telling you, it's still all good as long as we hold the eight, worst case, hold this. And look, I haven't even talked about the 20. I think that's where I'll end it. The 20 just golden crossed the 50. It really looks like the 20 is going to golden cross the 100 come Monday. And hey, it might even surpass the 200 come Wednesday, right? Or Thursday. So even if there was a little bit of a fall and even if the eight moving average can't hold, we still got the 20 that's working its way up and might actually become a support before we're worrying about this. And obviously the eight itself is still coming up, right? So maybe it ends up coming a little closer to that first line, right? That 760 and adds a little extra oomph to that. You know what I mean? So by no means does sell the news mean, you know, fears, pump, dump, none of that. No, no. I think there's a good chance for a healthy cool down. There's a good chance for people to, to enter if they haven't. There's a good chance to make some decisions about averaging up. Maybe you've bought down here. It's a good little pullback. You can maybe average up a little bit and watch it keep going, right? I'm still seeing a healthy, sustainable uptrend. This was the first, last, sorry, last week was the first week we destroyed the 50 moving average. It makes sense that we ended on a doji. Number one, it was a short week, so that makes sense. Number two, that's a difficult line. So confirming that's gonna be, you know, it's interesting, right? So again, we can actually, okay, this says 660. 
We do not want to fall any lower than 660. I think that's a little bit more swallowable. I don't know if that's a word, but then 550. I don't think anyone wants to talk about that. So 660 is the lowest we're willing to accept to be still bullish here. I think I'm willing to take that. Let's stay over that 50 moving average on the weekly. Um, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Oh my, I appreciate you all so, so much. Let's come into SNDL. All right, really quickly, if you can please subscribe, please share these videos. Oh, they do wonders. All right. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Sorry about that. Really quickly, I'm not going to go on to like a couple minute tangent, but I've been echoing my fears of the long weekend and the sell the news potential of the of the actual news the four one the the first day of legalization right so you can hear deeper thoughts on the on the um cgc portion i just passed as well as the tilray video from yesterday but i am not liking today's or sorry friday's candle or thursday's candle goodness friday today's friday can you tell i'm already in the weekend all right um i am not a big fan I'm not a big fan of giving up too much of yesterday. This is a beautiful candle that we had on third, on Wednesday. Beautiful candle, right? Lo and behold, we basically open around 50% of it and then close almost, what, 90%, right? Like, there is only a little sliver of green left. I'm glad we didn't eat the whole thing, I guess, but how happy am I really, right? So I never like it when 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 it looks like this. You know what I mean? Um, overall, listen, I am not screaming complete fears or worry, all right? Even if there's a sell the news, even if there's a little bit of a long weekend lull, even if this RSI, which I'll talk about in a second, does come back down a little bit more, there is plenty of room for this to come down and still be healthy, all right? And I think the one advantage with, with this versus CGC is this can actually come down a little bit and, and still be healthy as opposed to the other one that's kind of coming down a little bit more, right? So this can actually come as low as $1.77, $1.80, let's roughly call it. So that's about a 10% a, a drop, right? You're only losing 10 cents. Uh, sorry, 20 cents. That's not too bad, actually. That's, that's pretty manageable. Even as a worst case number, this thing can come down to $1.60. That's basically a 20% drop. Again, no one wants to lose 20%, but that's a little bit more swallowable than, again, CGC. I was talking about maybe losing almost 50% coming down to nearly the 200, right? So the 20 moving average is doing nicer, nicer golden crosses here. A lot of it is because the lines were just so tight, right? But you can see we've golden crossed the 50, we've golden crossed the 100, we will golden cross that 200 come Monday's open, right? So again, when a little one goes above a bigger one, that's a golden cross and a beautiful thing. Looks like the 50 is about to start doing it as well, right? That, that curl is getting nicer and nicer. So I'm expecting it to go over the 100, maybe by Tuesday or Wednesday, maybe Maybe even Monday for all I know, right? I don't know the math behind the lines. I'm just kind of guessing the, the the movements, right? But um, a lot of it is the same comments, right? This RSI does scare me a bit. I don't like it when there's a lack of unison. I want the MACD and RSI to kind of tell me the same thing. And it's funny because this is, this is parallel. This isn't even really coming down at all, right? So the MACD is really saying, I want to keep going. The RSI is kind of telling me I want to cool off. And again, we were literally in the 85s, 80s. Like that's that's a place where you kind of need to come back down. You come back down to this healthy 49, 50, and then you rerun, right? So um, I am not expecting worry. Again, there are healthy red candles in sustainable uptrends. That's what keeps things in check. That's what, <clears throat> excuse me, that's what keeps things from getting too hot. It's a, it's a good thing actually. All right. So, um, yeah, again, if we keep going, obviously the goal is going to, you know, you can even set maybe a 211 as a very realistic entry point obviously 218 if you get over this line right but this is a good channel right here it's a real good channel there's a little bit of noise maybe around 240. you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do this i'm gonna lift this to there and then i'm gonna lift that to there i like that i think that's our that's our our one two three up right there um, 
Again, otherwise, let's hold the eight. Worst case, we can come maybe like a buck sixty-ish. But yeah, this one, look, that right there is a good uptrend. Okay, that's a that's a pretty hardcore steep one. So I can see us coming back down towards this one, maybe around right here, no lower than than 175. I think that's a that's a decent guess here of, of where this goes. But yeah, I think I'm kind of expecting this to go down. You can tell in my tone, I am actually still bullish. Just because I think things are gonna come down, that doesn't mean I, I lose bullishness, right? Like that's what these moving average lines are for. So dang, we're already 20 minutes, I'm two tickers in. We're gonna end with high tide and then I'll do the others. Um, on the next one. So, oh my, I, this was a real interesting Thursday candle. All right, this was because I don't know if I need to think about this or I don't know if this is showing its cards. This accidentally dropped an ace on the poker table and you know, kind of tucked it back in. I don't know, and that's actually gonna be my one, two thoughts right here. But real quick, if you can, please subscribe. Please share this video. It does wonders with the algorithms, all right? So high tide, hey, really quickly, there was a funny comment that said, hey, don't put high tide last, all right? This was actually supposed to be in the middle. I wanted to do two others, but I'm running long. There is clear no offense when high tide comes last all right so um yeah these are no 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 don't think that all right um what am i looking at right now and 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 i'm i'm not a thousand percent okay um i think this is a good view because really like i said this is the candle i care about so we were in a little bit of a too many moving averages. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what to do. There was clearly a downtrend going too on that too many moving averages, right? So um, we started to break away and I talked about getting over this line to me being the, the belief and the con confirmation that we've escaped the lines, okay? Excuse me. There is a long weekend and and sell the news echo that I've, I did in the beginning of this video, I did on yesterday's video. I'm not gonna go into detail again on it, but, but both are legitimate worries of mine. And I think the fact that all of these RSIs are kind of doing the same thing is interesting because 74 isn't that high. It really, really isn't. Normally I start to worry around 80 and you can see there actually have been a couple moments that have gotten over this 74 line, but actually not too, too many, right? There's basically one, two, three little peaks before, I mean, 2021, right? So from the last two plus years have only really been little baby peaks over this 74, 75 RSI reading. So in some ways, I think it does kind of make sense that that, that did stop us, all right? Um, what worries me is this, all right? We have seen the big, big wick up come down and what happens afterwards with it. I do think this is a little different. Number one, this RSI was pushing a lot higher. Or I actually wasn't, damn, that was only at 74. Get out of here. 73 actually, we're at 74 now. Get out of here, yeah? I don't know, I, 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 I think this is different. Now, again, don't get me wrong. I've been saying I think all the other ones are about to come down, and I do think this one's about to come down too, but I, and you know, may, see, okay, here's, here's where I'm struggling a little bit. Did I need this to be a confirmation for, for this line? Because obviously this is one candle over the line and, and maybe the second one needed to confirm. To me, this was a beautiful candle and that was a nice confirmation above the line. So I, I, I don't think so, all right? I do think we're gonna come down in this eight, I, I, I'm hoping this. Let's end it with this. I think this is the firmest statement I can make. The lowest, and I'm actually gonna click right here. Okay, look, 193. Okay, you can see the green number on the top right here is 192. That's basically the, the peak of this little apex right here. I would, I would be okay with this coming down to 193. Hopefully at 193, it resets itself and is ready to go back up. I think as we fall below 193, hit that 192, 191, 190, my fears of falling back into the moving averages are gonna grow. But 
I believe the fact that we got over this on Wednesday. I believe the fact that we actually, look, this, this, no one wants a red candle, right? But we're about at 50%. This actually isn't bad comparatively to the Wednesday, right? And um, it's, it's, it's funny. You can see we wick to that. We go up. The wick never goes below 198. We actually hold that even on the wick, right? So I, I, I think that line is our friend. I think the eight moving average is going to hold us. Um, 193, I think that's the best number I can give um, for high tide. Because again, you've seen it, right? I mean, I don't know if you watch my other videos or not, but there are so many examples. I mean, Palantir is, is the easiest example for me before all this silliness. Look, there was literally almost a six month window where we go up, we go down, we almost fly, we almost die, we almost fly, we almost die. And then we obviously are nowhere near where we were, right? So um, the tornado does crazy things. I'm, I'm, I don't think these two are going to do the same thing. I don't think we're going to see the crazy down. I think the lines are actually going to hold here. But if they don't, you know my opinions will quickly change, right? So 193, that's where we end this. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. I will cover the rest. I appreciate you all so, so much.